Hello everybody, it's Kian Dada Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can control a fan with three speeds in Home Assistant and manually with touch switches by ESP Home. The board I'm using is ESP32 integrated with Home Assistant. You can watch the integration tutorial here. Also, I'm using a four channel capacitive touch module to control speeds of fan manually. The one I use is TTP224. Using or let's say connecting this device to ESP boards we need for diets. There is a separate video about using touch switches on my channel. You can watch it here if interested. To show you the output or let's say the result of this project, I use three LEDs indicating three speeds of fan. Watching this tutorial, you will learn how to connect and use outputs of ESP boards to terminals or let's say wires of the fan. Let's jump to the programming. In order to program our ESP board, I navigate to supervisor on the left panel of home assistant. Select ESP home, then click on open web UI. This is my ESP32 YAML file. I click on edit, the file opens. Here I can paste the codes. At the bottom of the file, I paste the codes. Let's go through the lines. These lines I'm highlighting are related to defining the touch button. Do not forget to add this line as we are using ESP32 touch platform. Okay, for defining touch buttons, we use binary sensors. Platform is ESP32 touch. I set internal to true because I do not want Home Assistant display touch buttons. Pins you can use for defining touch switches are GPIOs 2, 4, 12, 13, 14, 15, 27, 32, and 33. This section is related to button number 1. I dedicated GPIO 15 to touch button number 1 which is for setting a speed one to on. Let's uh, skip this part, I'll come to it later. This section is related to defining button number two. I dedicated GPIO four. I set a name for it, speed two. This part is related to defining button number 3. And this one is related to defining button number 4 for turning off all speeds. The next step is defining switches to connect fan to them. We need three switches interlocked. The interlocking is done to ensure that two outputs are never active at the same time. By doing the interlock, we are making the functions of speeds dependent on each other. So one speed would turn on after the others turn off. As two speeds mustn't be on simultaneously. Okay, this section is related to defining outputs. Platform is GPIO. This section I highlighted is related to defining output one which is a speed low or let's say a speed one i set a name for it a speed one i need id we have to define id for it a speed low is its id we need it in automation okay i talked about the interlock interlock wait time i set it to 300 milliseconds 
We define how long to wait after other items in an interlock group have been disabled before reactivating. This section is related to defining output for SP2 and this part is related to defining output 3 for SP3 or let's say high speed. That's it. Let's talk about the automations. Here we have to make a connection between button, touch buttons and outputs. We do it by automations. This is button number one. This is automation related to connecting this button, button number one, to output number one, which is a speed one. Unpress means if the button is touched. Then what happens? Turn on a speed low. This is the idea of a speed one. So by touching button number one, a speed one is set to on. We have the same thing for button number two. By touching it, a speed two is set to on. For button number three, by touching it, a speed three is set to on. But the last one, button number four, which is for setting speeds to off. By touching it, all speeds are set to off. Okay, programming is done. Let's install the edited file on the ESP board. I click on install, select wirelessly. Wait till installation completes. In installation completed, I click on stop. After that, I navigate to configurations, select integrations. I select my ESP32 development board, delete it. Here, reloading does not work. Pay attention to this. I delete it. Then add it again by clicking on add integration, searching ESP home and selecting it, entering its IP, the IP of my ESP development board, submit. Okay, I click on ESP32, it has one device and three entities. I select it, this is my ESP32, controlling a fan with three speeds. Let's go to the board. This is my four channel capacitive touch button module. In order to use it, we have to power it on by connecting 3.3 volt to VCC pin and connecting ground of the ESP development board to ground of this module. The rest of pins Output 1, 2, 3, 4 are related to touch button 1, 2, 3, 4. I dedicate a GPIO 15 to touch button 1. I connect this GPIO 15 to output 1. In the middle, I use a diode. I dedicated GPIO 16 to output 1, which is related to S speed 1, and connected this LED to it. When a speed is set to on, the output voltage is high. So I connected anode of the LED to GPIO 16 and cathode is connected to ground. I do the same for GPIO 17 and 5 for SP2 and SP3. Now let's test the device. I touch button number one. Speed 1 is set to on, touch button number 2, speed 1 set to off, then speed 2 set to on. Touch, I touch button number 3, 
sp2 was set to off sp3 set to on by touching button number four our speeds are off you see it's working perfectly and you have its feedback on home assistant ui using home assistant ui you can control the speeds as you see by turning on each speed other speeds are set to off before the speed being turned on thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already you can support me by buying me a coffee i'll see you in the next video